Welcome to Die Trying. What are you looking at? I'm Patrick Norton. I'm Michael Ann. And I'm Tara Long. Uh oh. I have a little bit of a task for you guys uh, as related to hard science. I need you to make me some puppets. Puppets. And puppets. I need those puppets to be made out of meat, and I need that meat to be Anthony Carboni. <laughs> Okay. okay. Remote control Anthony is basically what you want. Basically, yeah. I want to make Anthony dance in a way that's semi-dangerous. Ah, well, I think we can do that. Yeah? Probably. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. <laughs> this week we're going to make a media controlled shocking device, press a note, get a shock, a face organ if you will. <laughs> Should be simple. So the way we're doing it, it actually is going to be pretty simple. Uh -huh. We got these things called TENS units from Amazon. Uh, I think they were like 12 bucks maybe. And TENS is a lot easier to say than transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, which basically yeah. means sending voltage through the skin. They're using physical therapy, managing chronic pain, and it's a really space age sort of workout usually seen in Bruce Lee biopics. Yeah, basically they just send a bunch of electricity through your muscles, make them contract. You ever played an electric fence? You pretty much know what we're talking about here. So we don't really accidentally kill anyone or even pump enough juice into say Anthony to make him collapse like we tased him, no matter how much Tara might pay us to make that happen. So we're not gonna modify these. No. But we are gonna take advantage of the Arduino relay board controller setup you put together a couple weeks ago. Yeah, so we showed this off I think in DIY 18, something like that, two weeks ago. Anyway, we're gonna do the same thing where we're gonna interrupt the lines so that when they're hooked into the relay board and the switch is off, you don't get shocked. But if the switch is on, then you do get shocked because it's closing the connection. Shock, no shock, shock, no shock, shock, no exactly. shock. Exactly. Really simple, just what we did last week as well. So how did you get the piano to control the shocking? I can totally, <laughs> I'm, this is what Tara's gonna be like. Dance, Anthony, dance, little puppet boy. Exactly. So the piano part involves a bit of software. This is just a straight MIDI controller. Okay. And then the MIDI commands are then inter interpreted by some software on my computer. So I can show that off. Cool, let's see it. As far as the Arduino side of things goes, it's the exact same uh, setup that we had last week that it's looking for uh, like the number one will turn on relay one, number two will turn on relay two sort of thing. So that is exactly the same. That's the Arduino side of it. On the MIDI side, I have this program that I found called MIDI Pipe. So musical instrument digital interface, it's about a billion years old, because I can remember using it when I was still in college, and it allows you to basically take well, digital signals and use them to trigger other things. A light show at a concert, um, synthesizers, keyboard, it just, it's just, it's kind of like if then, then that without the internet. But now with more USB than old school. Which makes it much easier than, yeah, trust me, USB good. <laughs> All right, so there's a couple of different ways to do this. Uh, because I'm using a Mac, this MIDI pipe program makes things very simple. Basically, it looks for a MIDI signal, and then it, you can modify the signal in some way, and then it spits it back out. And one really nice function is that it has AppleScript triggers. Ooh. So I know the Arduino is basically looking for numbers, like keyboard inputs. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm sending. So I'm. This is probably not the cleanest way to do it, but I'm creating a shell script and then echoing the number three, the number two, to the serial port on the Arduino. <laughs> Elegant or not, it does work. Because if yeah. I press, well, we start with middle C, I guess. I have it set up so you can play Mary Had a Little Lamb right now. Perfect. Whoops. Yeah, that's about all that there is. I'm just echoing a number to the serial port and then the relay's opening. So, key press, USB cable, MIDI interpretation, signal to Arduino, which turns the power on and off to a relay, which basically will light Anthony's nerve endings up and cause his muscle to contract. That's the theory. We haven't tested it out yet. This is gonna suck. Mm -hmm. So we have like electrode pads and we've applied electro, no, Signagel. Highly conducted multi-purpose electrolyte for professional, really does say for professional use only. We're professionals. <laughs> anyway, we have everything hooked up. Uh, I guess we just need to test it out now. Oh, hey. Did someone say torture? Not even once. No. Well, I'm here now, and, and you can't get rid of me. I'm too happy. Uh, we thought it would be fun to try everyday tasks with the electrodes hooked up, and Tara will play us a nice song. Yes. You're going to write, I'm going to try to pour cereal, and apparently you're just going to grin like a feral, happy little yep. animal. Oh, my goodness. Not looking forward to this. Tell me when. When. Okay. Ah, this is great. Tara. Breathe, breathe through the pain. 
audiblepodcast.com slash DIY. You get your free audiobook because I'm feeling like the first part of Quicksilver and Neil Stevenson's trilogy where basically, well, there's animal testing in the beginning of science. Check it out, audiblepodcast.com slash DIY. You get a free book. Tara, you, you can stop right now. now. Can I? Because I am a badass, apparently. All right. You guys have had enough. Well, that was lovely. <laughs> we'll pass this whole setup off to you, Tara. Thank you. In the case we're in prison after whatever Tara does to Anthony, please subscribe. We'll do some. <laughs> ah, Sorry, I was just testing to make sure it was still on. <laughs> YouTube.com slash die trying. Or die trying.com. Please comment down below if you're on YouTube. Please subscribe no matter where you are. And check out Tara's show, uh, Hard Science. Yes. YouTube.com slash hard science show. She will be torturing Anthony, but putting these on his face. Yes. His Even more face. Dangerous. It really is going to be a face organ. It really is. Oh my God. goodness. Thanks. I. <laughs> watching. I'm Patty Dorton. I'm Michael Han. Tara. Goodbye. Bye. There it is. I don't think it's on right now. Sure it's not on? Um, Am I having placebo effect issues? I think so. But this should be middle C. Oh, yeah. No. Nothing? This is C. Mm, maybe I have it backwards. Oh! Yes. <laughs> I guess that was it. It was E. <laughs>